Come with me and let's take a tour on my perfectly imperfect classroom. When you walk in the door on the left, you have the folder basket for take home folders. Over here is the turn-in tub. We have extra student supplies that they can access, extra spin in case there's something that um, students have lost, extra highlighters, extra pencils, breakfast cards. Um, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of my open house display. This is about half of my students. The other ones are in the hallway, but they had to write their dreams or goals um, they are some of the cutest things I have ever seen. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a rapper. If you knew this child, you would appreciate it. I want to be a horse rider so, so bad. I want to be a father, oh, so sweet. And one over here says, I wanna be an athletic trainer for Duke. Anyway, yeah, they turned out really good and I just love the way they look on here. So, so cute. All right, so here's extra paper, water bottle station. Um, I just store my tissues up there so they're fast and easy for the kids to get when they need them. And my lunch stuff, my science center, which I haven't started doing anything here yet, but there's gonna be a little like hands-on things here. Standing desk for a student, lunch boxes, then we have the student cubbies and all my storage up above. They've got their little name in the back. They turn out so good. I love the way they look, but I'm gonna have to put a few back up because they're already starting to fall down. Um, over here, this is where I put science and social studies work that we do as a class or anything, kind of like a focus wall for science and social studies since I didn't have room in the front. This is my teacher corner. I call it Africa and no one's allowed to go to Africa but Mrs. Ludoff. So this is evolving. It is not how I want it in the long term, but it's okay. I don't spend a lot of time during the day back there. My cute little um, decorations and my rainbow. This is where I do my small groups. Here's my library station. Growth Mindset Bulletin Board. Students had to write on cards something that they can't do well yet, but they had to write like, but I will buy, and then give themselves a date. Hold on, let me pick up a book. That just fell down. Um, over here I've got my focus standards, my I do, we do, to do, and I've got a you do poster, but I haven't put it up yet. My ABCs, which are so cute. I haven't put that matte stuff on them yet. I'm gonna buy some of that. Math focus wall, ELA focus wall, my schedule, which I need to make a few more cards. I was just filling out the extra stuff. My teacher chair that I sit in when I'm teaching that I wanna sit down. My interactive board, which I need to plug back in because we had a hurricane coming and it was unplugged. So this is kind of my teach from it um, organizer right here. So whatever I need on hand, I just put right here so that it's not messy. I have little bins and baskets for it. Birthday chart, which I need to fill out this, this weekend. And over here, this is a work in progress, but this is my calm down corner and it's already getting dirty, but there's gonna be posters and like feely things and I got fidgets coming in the mail, so. And then obviously my teacher storage. So I was looking to see if I had, I have to have these tangrams today for math. So I'm glad that I have all the shapes that I need. So that's good. So yeah, there is my classroom. Here's a student desk. Let me show you from the front. It looks all pretty right now because we just had our curriculum night, which is kind of like an um, academic open house. So yeah, they've got all their little, let me show you. This was a project they had to create an insect and make it um, like have an adaptation and it also had to have the body parts that were required. This is their learning how to draw a monarch for our monarch unit. Um, an example of their math work, an example of their writing, and then their reading workbook that their parents can look through because this is new this year so I wanted them to see. So yeah, and then some of them had finished a station, so it turned out really cute. So this is an Instagram post 
and it was a free one that I found where the students had to come up with something that was invented by accident and then they had to research it and write how it was invented and draw a little picture of that. So some of these are super, super cute. And this one over here, love the little drawing on there of her fireworks, but yeah. And then some of them, not all of them, I think some of them took them home by accident, have their wiggly line writings from the first day of school that I just put in there as another writing sample. So here's another cute one. This kid is very artistic. Yeah, so um, Frisbees. Lucille kept themselves contained by... Um, okay, so they're they're finding out how they could discover that the frisbees were very dur durable, is what he's writing about. A popcorn lid. Yeah, and they made them out of heavier stuff to make them more durable. So yeah, we've been doing some good learning in here, and I'm happy. We do have to work on procedures still, but doesn't everybody, so. There's my view of the whole classroom setup. Um, the, the one thing I could say about this is that there's a tendency for these kids to scoot up and not leave me a space. And same with these kids on this side. Um, and this, these kids up here, everybody just wants to scoot up for some reason. So I got some masking tape and I'm going to put it down on the floor to show them where to get back in their spots. So I can just say, get back in your spots and then everybody can see where they need to be. So otherwise... I feel like my classroom is working pretty well for me, um, the way I have it set up. I'm going to get a rug. There's a rug coming that's going to go, let me show you, hold on, I'm in the wrong direction. Down through here, because when I teach, I bring the people that are in the back, two rows here and here, in the very back row, up to the front. These kids can see fine. Um, so I bring them up to the front so they can see better and hear me better and I could keep their focus. So I have two runners that are just going to go right down the middle. That will make a nice little spot for them to be a little cushier to sit because this one is just like really thin and it's not very good to sit on. So that's it. That's my classroom for 2023. It's going to continue to evolve as the year goes on, but just wanted to make sure that everybody got to see it after you saw all the classroom setup. Thanks for following me for my setup videos. If you have specific things that you want to see on my channel and you're a new subscriber, would you please just take a second and drop me a comment so that I know what type of videos to make this year to make you happy. I want to keep you. So um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go because my students are coming in like 30 seconds. Talk to you soon. As always, don't forget to work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen.